Ever wondered why the clutch is such a crucial component of a motorcycle? Or perhaps, pondered over the importance of using it correctly? It's not just about changing gears, but about safety, control, and getting the most out of your ride. In the world of motorcycling, the clutch is your best friend. It plays an essential role in how your motorcycle operates, controlling your speed, power, and ultimately, your safety. But how does one use it correctly? Imagine the clutch as a mediator between the engine and the transmission. It's the link that allows you to control the power of the engine and channel it to your wheels. When you pull the clutch lever towards the handlebars, you're disengaging the engine from the transmission. The engine is still running, but it's not delivering power to the wheels. This is the state you want to be in when you're at a standstill or changing gears. Now, when you gradually release the clutch lever, you're engaging the engine with the transmission. The power from the engine is slowly transferred to the wheels. This is known as the friction zone where the magic happens. It's that sweet spot where the motorcycle starts moving and where you control the speed of your ride. So how does it work in practice? You're at a stop sign. You pull in the clutch lever, shift down to first gear and gradually release the clutch while gently adding throttle. The bike starts moving. You're riding. It's a dance, a delicate balance between the clutch and the throttle. Too much throttle without enough clutch and you might stall or wheelie. Too much clutch without enough throttle and you might not have enough power to move or you might stall. It's all about finding that perfect harmony. But remember, the clutch isn't just for starting and stopping. It's also essential for smooth gear changes while you're riding. When you want to shift up, you pull in the clutch, roll off the throttle, shift up, then gradually release the clutch while gently adding throttle. This ensures a smooth transition and prevents the bike from jerking or stalling. In essence, the key points to remember are 1. Always pull in the clutch when you're at a standstill or changing gears. 2. Gradually release the clutch and add throttle when you're starting to move. 3. Use the clutch and throttle in harmony to control your speed and power. And 4. Always practice safe and controlled riding. The clutch is your ticket to a smooth, controlled and safe ride. Mastering its use is not just about becoming a better rider, it's about ensuring safety on the road, both for yourself and others. So next time you're on your bike, remember the importance of the clutch and use it wisely.